currently um, managing Harmonize, I'm signed under uh, WCB Wasafi. On his first song when he released Ayola, I was the one that who uploaded it on YouTube and make sure that it goes to the digital channels and everything. My name is uh, Joel Vincent Joseph, also known as Mr. Poors. I manage Harmonize. My name is uh, Joel Vincent Joseph, also known as Mr. Poors. I'm a Tanzanian. I used to be an artist, but right now I'm a, I'm a talent manager. So currently I'm managing Harmonize. I'm signed under WCB Wasafi as one of the managers, but specifically I, I, I manage Harmonize as an artist. On his first song when he released Ayola, I was the one that who uploaded it on YouTube and make sure that it goes to the digital channels and everything. That's where we, we started working with Harmonize, but not just as a manager, but as a friend. And later on, we, were, we have been so close so with the WCB WSF, with Diamond Platinums and the rest of the team. And Harmonize has been also asking me uh, a lot of time, like, bro, I have this song. What do you think? Do you think it can, it can be good? And then I, I always gave him an advice because he's my young brother and he's, he's you know, trying to push his music. Uh, this year, early March, we, he called me and said, you know, Joel, I would like me and you to work together and you be my manager and then we, we take it from there. So what I do exactly for Harmonize is uh, managing all of his things, his music career, music distribution, trying to have a strategies for his music and trying to take him from the level that he is right now to another level. And the project that I started with with Harmonize was um, Kwangwaru and I thank God that it did so well until now it's the number one song that everybody's singing from kids, um, normal young age to the old people, they're singing Kwangwaru and then uh, we, we were able to work together and put that song into a level whereby it reaches um, 10 million views in just one month and that was a massive, massive achievement for Kongwaru. And then we, we did uh, DM Chic uh, with Sako D, that's the second project. And then we did Atarudi, which is the latest song that we, 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 we did. Um, to be honest, um, I'm excited because Harmonize is one of the best artists that I can tell, not just as a musician, but as a person. Uh, he is very cooperative, he is uh, very ambitious, he is very energetic, he listens. That's where we, we, we normally, that's how we, we, we do things. Uh, we, we got this kind of connection that makes us very strong in terms of making judgments on the staff or in terms of coming up with the strategies, but also the whole team of Wasafi, WCB, starting from Diamond and other managers, Salam, Labutali. That's how we make things. Why I became this uh, kind of uh, manager to harmonize? Before I used to be a, a dancer, I started as a dancing person. I used to dance at uh, Arusha. I get paid like 1,500 every night. And then I felt like ah, I can do more. And then I went to the studio and recorded two songs. And at the same time, I was DJing. I was an MC to weddings. So I've been doing a lot of entertainment stuff where it got me uh, an interest and learn a lot of things about uh, entertainment. My first song was called uh, Sweet Baby. It was 
to line two. That way, that's when I released my first song. And then my second song I did with uh, one of our team members called Structure P and LG. The song is called Music Waleo. As a manager, there's a lot of challenges that I um, uh, we see within our career. And one of them is uh, an artist being, uh, sometimes they're being annoyed. <laughs> That's very normal. But most of the biggest challenge is to how to, to, to uh, weigh the market with your artist and how you can penetrate your artist into the markets, different markets. You see, like, you need to start with where you are, like from Tanzania, I need to start from Tanzania and then uh, see how I can take over the East African market and see how West African market I can get it, South African, and then the all of Africa. So that's the biggest challenge that we, we, we actually face on how you can create those connections and be able to uh, to penetrate your artist's music into into that market and that is the biggest challenge. Most of our artists are not uh, well educated or I may say well educated but sometimes they are not they don't know where they want to go. So as a manager I cannot uh, put a, a goal to an artist if he doesn't have the goal. I will see myself with the artist that I'm with right now, analyzing to very next level. See him getting some awards, even myself getting an awards for being a good manager to, to harmonize and not just harmonize but the whole team in WCB, uh, WCB or Safi. So there's a lot of things that I still need to do, a lot of things that I still need to learn to get to where I want to get. But in the next five years, you'll see me, you know, close to Chris Brown, Tiger, those biggest artists that you see in America that are doing great. That's the level that I'm putting myself in. To the young people right now, there's a lot of opportunities, especially to the music industry. There's a lot of talent, um, young, young, uh, young age that we see right now, a lot of creativities, but they, they lack on um, how they can do things. Before you become a musician, you need to be a business person for, for that career. If you put yourself in that kind of position, that you, then you have a very wide opportunity for you to grow. Because everything that you're gonna do, you're gonna do, focus with the strategies, marketing plan, promotions, how you're gonna get there, your goals, and uh, you will sharpen the road to, to, to your success. Yeah.